Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. Now a few months ago I released the NJAI water bombing service. Now for those of you that never actually checked it out or never heard of it, it was a little bit of a script or a mission that you could go and type in and call in a water bombing service to go and put some fires out here in Stormworks. Now I know a lot of people that have been actually testing that out and working with it and playing with it asked me to convert it into a bombing service here with Weapons DLC. And of course, I have gone and done that. And as we can tell, <laughs> we are not getting a ton of bombs just hitting the airfield now that I've gone and called and using the bombing service. <laughs> and it's absolutely just annihilating anything if there was something there using <laughs> the bombs. And you can see the plane heading off in the distance and soon going to be despawning. Uh, so I'm going to be releasing this over to the workshop. It is so much fun to play with. I can't wait to share this with you guys and you don't have to do absolutely anything. Now, the a bombing service works really easy. You just have to obviously start a new game, make sure you include it in your add-ons uh, into when you're starting your game up. And once you start your game up, you get these settings here in your uh, little script area or your message area. So you can call a bombing run wherever you want in Stormax. It can be where you are, it could be far away. It's completely up to you. So for example, if I wanted to call a bombing run on, let's say this train garage over here, all I need is the coordinates. So I can see here 3,800 and minus 1,000, uh, let's say minus 5,500. Okay, so all we need to do now is go into our messages over here or into our chat. We can decide whether we want a plane from the north, the south, the east or the west. Uh, I want one from the north. So in underscore bomb, and all we have to do is give it the coordinates. So once again, we're going to do what? 3,800 and the Y position is going to be minus 5,400. Okay, so there we go. Minus 5,400 and we can call that in. Now, before we call that in, because obviously I um, already called the plane in, I need to make sure that it's not spawned in. So you can only call in one plane at a time. If the other one is already in, you need to wait for it to despawn or you can use the command to despawn it. It just helps with lag so you don't spawn a server when you have this enabled. You can only have one at a time. So as you can see, uh, the plane should have spawned in. There it is right over there. It is now heading towards the train yard and it should drop bombs on the train yard in a few seconds. So you can see there, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes and it's getting closer closer and closer now this is still a little bit of a work in progress i will put it up on the workshop but i am completely open to suggestions guys um i'm happy to increase the amount of bombs decrease it to make them bigger make the spread wider at the moment it does drop bombs in a complete straight line as you can tell uh, it is currently dropping the bombs now over the train line and you can see the bombs that are coming off this just look at that it is <laughs> absolutely amazing now it will start by hitting the train line you can see there the first bomb is very close to it uh just over there and and then it goes boom 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 <laughs> it is so cool you can just see the bomb is carrying on and carrying on so i'm happy to increase the size maybe increase the amount of bombs decrease the amount of bombs but i'd love to hear you guys feedback on what you think um so i will be putting this on the workshop and yeah, guys, let me know what other type of add-ons you would love to see here in the weapons DLC. I am thinking of creating one where you can call in AI enemy. So, for example, like, hey, I just built a tank. I want to test how well it does against AI enemy. So then maybe like a little script where you can be like, spawn, uh, let's say spawn tank. Um, and then you give it the position and it will spawn an enemy AI tank wherever you want. And then you can battle it. Um, so, yeah. Guys, let me know what you think about that. I could do a plane, I could do a tank, I could do a ship, uh, and just something you could quickly call in if you're trying to test a vehicle. Because at the moment, I find, personally, with the new weapons DLC, is it's great to obviously have the enemy. But when you start a new save, they're so far away. They're all the way over here. I want to test ground vehicles. I have nothing to test my ground vehicles against. So guys, I would love to hear feedback about that. Um, but this video is obviously about the bombing service. I hope you guys check it out. I will leave it linked in the video description to the workshop page. Uh, and let me just, let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's quite fun, uh, especially if you want to troll your friends <laughs> in multiplayer. This could be a fun way to do it. Uh, or you just want to go after the AI and they have a fortified position. You need some extra support, call it in, let it do a bombing run uh, for you and hopefully destroy some targets. So guys, a nice short 
quick little video there. I hope you do enjoy this. If you do, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't miss my future content, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And until the next one, we will see you then.